Uh, Leisure Trip running on from behind, but it's Impala Lily the leader. Leisure Trip and Brown Sugar, Impala Lily still goes. Leisure Trip's trying to close it down. Leisure Trip is coming on powerfully at Impala Lily. It's close, they hit the line, and I go with Impala Lily. Leisure Trip. Oh, that full result was 5 12 4 and 1. Race number one here. The starter reported that Velvet Wind, Leisure Trip, and Royal Security Baby were all slow into stride, and the veterinary surgeon had no report in race number two. Then on to the exotics. Race number two was the start of the bipod, the Sea Cottage Saga, 50 years middle stakes. This was over 1400 meters. And in race number two, number two, Desert Fighter was involved with uh, number 10 on the card that was son of silver and number nine was certainly not disgraced silence descends it was just be close at the line but the verdict went to number 10 desert fighter Desert Fighter. Cape Laddie's trying to fight back on the inside. Desert Fighter and Silence Descent from Cape Laddie. It's wide open. Running on a Son of Silver from nowhere. Desert Fighter, Silence Descent and Son of Silver. Oh, it's close. Son of Silver flew at Desert Fighter. Yep, it was a photo finish. 2, 10, 9 and 4. That's the way they crossed the line in race number 2. Here the starter reported that Master Archer lost 2 lengths. The veterinary surgeon reported that Aspara, nothing obvious detected, not striding out left for was Waterpout, and Tipo Tinto was examined, but nothing obvious detected. On to race number three, which was the start of the place accumulator. This was the Delta Airlines 2200. It was a grade three over 2200 meters. And uh, this race uh, turned out to be one for the old man. Punta Arenas, who was second in last year's Vodacom Durban July, certainly came well to beat 11, 12 and 2. And Alderberg Blue, Al Khadia, Punta Arenas past the 200. Al Khadia still leads it, but Punta Arenas, Punta Arenas, the centenary's running on, but Punta Arenas will win. Second will go to the centenary, then Al Khadia and Alderberg Blue. I'll repeat that full result, 1, 11, 12 and 2. And Punta Arenas, the seven-year-old, taking his career earnings to well over... 2 million rand. In race number 3, the starter reported that Master Switch was restless in the pens, losing one length. And the veterinary surgeon just had the one report, Kalua Castle reported, uh, with nothing obvious detected. Then race number 4, the big one, a massive pig 6 pool on the day, estimated to reach 15 million rand. I think we've got to say it under that. But uh, it was going to be tough to catch the pick six uh, on Vodacom Durban July. This was the SABC Gold Vase. It was a grade three over the marathon trip of 3,000 meters. Now have a look at this result. We'll talk about it. But the two horses in front, uh, they stay on for the minor position. The horse to listen out for will be Inad under a driving ride by Samanga Kamalo. Smart Mart, these two are clear of the opposition. Three balloons is on the outside. Smart Mart just the leader. Kingston Mines is fighting right back. Smart Mart and Kingston Mines, but Smart Mart's going on and flying as Inad. Inad from nowhere got up to win it. Inad got up in the shadow of the post. Smart Mart and then Kingston Mines. Well, it was a superb ride, a well-timed ride, a well-judged ride by Samanga Kumalo. But this result was a super effort from the Mike de Kock team, saddling the first four past the post. 12 Inard, 13 Smart Mart, 3 Kingston Mines, and running on to nab that fourth position was number 15 Kinan. One. Two, three, four. Mike de Kock. Race number four. The starter reported that balance sheet, Greek legend, and crime victim were all slow into stride. Gold Onyx and Royal Security Guard both lost one lend. Smart Mart was stubborn to load, and difficult to load was balance sheet. In the fourth race, the veterinary surgeon just had two reports: balance sheet, nothing of his detected, and the same with crime victim. Then on to race number five which was the start of the jackpot. This was the gold circle. Golden slipper, a grade two over 
1400 meters race. Drive. El Hora towards the outside and then sail. Homeward bound final judgment at the 400. Visuality. Maleficent, she's now got to unwind. She's got a length to make up. Inside the 250, final judgment. Maleficent on the inside. Sails running a huge race and Dawn Calling gets going on the inside. Dawn Calling, final judgment on the outside sail. Dawn Calling coming home hard. Final judgment rallies though. Final judgment from Dawn Calling. Then came sail, visuality. Maleficent did not go on. Well, when it comes to these two-year-olds, you often hear it on your World of Winners teletrack, be it from presenters, trainers or jockeys, how these two-year-olds can improve uh, uh, much uh, faster than uh, some of uh, their other uh, rivals uh, that have beaten them. And uh, this was certainly a case in uh, question number five, final judgment, as I mentioned, five lengths by, beaten by Maleficent. But she certainly looks progressive and improving rapidly. 5, 3, 12 and 14. Race number 5. Here the starter reported the Merry Widow was slow into stride. Intriguing lady lost one length. And then the veterinary surgeon uh, had a, a few reports here. Maleficent, nothing obvious detected. She was obviously uh, you know, asked to be examined. Captain's Mole not striding out right for Zadora scalped left hind on to race number six the next feature for the juveniles this was for the colson geldings the durban golden horseshoe grade two over 1400 meters and in race number six uh, this horse called zodiac ruler have a look at this performance from the poly track winning on debut into a great uh, two and winning well with richard for down the middle misty burnham zodiac ruler gunners running an absolute cracker buffalo soldier zodiac ruler erupting through the talk of the town Zodiac Ruler blew them away. Misty Burnham second, then came Gunner. Well, you're going to have to pencil the source in. It looks like a serious racehorse. And who knows, we may see him at the end of the month where he could take his place over that 1,600 meter trip. Uh, the feature for the juveniles uh, on uh, Elan Property Group Gold Cup Day. We'll just have to wait and see. 14-6. Five and two. Race number six. Well, here the starter reported that Zodiac Ruler lost two lengths, slow into stride with Gio's Ponte's legacy, and Misty Burnham was restless in the stalls. The veterinary surgeon, Gio Ponte's legacy, nothing obvious detected. The same with Unagi. Oomph was reported not striding out right high. And then we went on to the big one, the feature. The race that gets the nation talking. The 2016 running of the Vodacom Durban July for a stake of 4,250,000. 2200 meters the trip and I'm going to leave you in a bit of uh, peace and quiet to have a look at this finish by Pierre Stradom on the conglomerate. Bella, Bella comes bounding towards the inside for to make up. On the outside Black Arthur fanned across the track at the 300 the conglomerate Mac Delago. Bella Bella's looking to run on towards the outside Black Arthur Abashiri. The conglomerate sweeps into the lead. The conglomerate Bella Bella Marinaresco's flying from nowhere. The conglomerate in front and will win from Marinaresco. It's my turn. Magdalago photos. Saratoga dancers. Well, just an amazing performance by the conglomerate. Uh, the older horse uh, who was drawn 18 out of 18, beating the three year old from the Mike Bassiard who came into town with some. Uh, superb Cape Form to recommend. He was drawn 17 out of the 18 runners. So the two horses that finished first and second in this year's Vodacom Durban July had the worst of draws to overcome. And the conglomerate, Joey Ramsden and the connections, uh, well, of course, the Eustace, uh, Pierce Stradham and everybody else concerned with the source. Uh, what an outstanding performance by this individual. And uh, I think the source Marinesco was certainly not disgraced as well uh, back in second, showing that he could be the pick of the three-year-olds, 14, 13, 2 and 9.
in a quartet that paid well over 152,000 and the trifecta in this year's Vodacom Durban July paid 12,000 Rand. What happened here in race number seven? Well, the starter said that the French Navy, Abbas Sherry and Trophy Wife were all slow into stride. Fetney Surgeon was kept busy after the Vodacom Durban July. Solid speed, unfortunately, Epistaxis recommended 60 day suspension. Not striding out right time with Samurai Blade. Rocket Ball, nothing obvious detected. The same with Saint Tropez and reported lame left four was Abbasheri. On to the eighth race, the Compendium Insurance Brokers. This was a merit rated 103 over. 1,000 meters. Race number eight was the race that closed off the jackpot. And here you're going to have to listen out for the three-year-old who was down in the ratings, dropping in distance. He's a grey called Iska. Harry Limes towards the inside. The grey Iska's got his two lengths to make up. Big King darts for a rails run. He's got running in him two lengths to make up. Here comes the grey Iska. Takes on Arabian National. On the outside, vibration. But the grey Iska builds inside the 150. And you be with this grey. Iska, this is Bullseye. He'll win by two and a half. Second position. Captured wins running on. Probably got second. Arabian National. Big King in photos. Full result, 11, 9, 8 and 10. Race number 8 started reported that Captain Sam was slow into stride. Vetney Surgeon reported that Splendid Garden, nothing obvious detected. And then on to the ninth race, closing off the place accumulator and pick 6. It was the start of the second jackpot as well. This was the KZN Yearling Sale million over 1,300 meters, of course, for the juvenile uh, Phillies and uh, Colson Geldings that were purchased a year ago. Qualify for this race. You get a spot. You uh, get yourself into the race. And uh, you can uh, have a decent stake check. That first stake check in race number nine was 625,000. This performance, Luna Rush, Duncan Owls, and Miguel Pesh. Towards the outside, Chap Trap. Poster girls on the inside. Luna Rush looking to build on that lead 150 to go and it's Luna Rush in command by a length and a half Anthony Del Pesce says go win this go stand in the queue Luna Rush to win the second spot the way we make him flew up with the king of random second and third in photos poster girl be 10 8 7 and 12 race number nine here the starts are reported that Del Gamma was very stubborn and refused to load scratched Peggy's dream was slow into stride. Vetney Surgeon, Caddy Master, not striding out right four. Nothing obvious detected with Al Malak and Golden Ball. Also, Tooth of Beauty. And then Shazam was injured and not striding out left time, leaving the parade ring scratched by the Vetney Surgeon. Race number 10 was the grade one. Johnson's Workwear Garden Province Stakes. This was for a stake of a million rand and some serious factions were set up front here by a certain bichette from the sean terry yard and it turned out to be a true run race and generally when that's the case the best horse arrives and in this field no doubt the best horse was inara Intergalactics on the inside, heaps of fun and almost running on strongly. And it's Bichette who staggers now. Inara hits the front. Almost coming on powerfully on the outside. Inara from Alma. Down the inside, Intergalactic, but Inara won it. Second, Alma. Close for third, Intergalactic. Well, one, three, seven, and 14. That's the way they finish. And well done to the Mike Bass team on Vodacom Durban July Day, saddling a grade one winner. And that was a fifth grade one of her career. Starter reported Lana Falcon and Eventual Angel were all slow into stride. Curvy Brute uh, lost one length. And uh, then the Vetney Surgeon, just the one report, Silver Mountain, who was fancied, not striding out left four. We don't have stamps reports for races 11 and 12, but we'll certainly take you through them. To the delight of the boys in the Obi van, race number 11, number 8, uh, which was Red Carpet Captain, straight into the number 1 box, having his first run 
Back as a Gaudi. Inside Al Azrax in the blue Natal towards the outside. Then Captain Swarovski, red carpet captain Ernie, all running on. So is Captain Chaos. Cutting edge comes into the lead. Al Azrak, Victoria Ravel, Ernie on the inside. It gets close. Anybody can win it. Red carpet captain. Red carpet captain comes home to win it. Second, perhaps Ernie. Third, Al Azrak and cutting edge. Uh, take note that Budapest was a late scratching. They're also uh, an inmate of the Fanzel team in the same colors. But this was a superb win for Red Carpet Captain. Then on to the lucky last, race number 12, uh, which was uh, the second uh, leg, second jackpot, the last leg of the second jackpot. Let's get that right. This was over 1,600 meters. Daisy Business Solutions. Uh, a handicap, a listed race. Oh, yeah. So there are this pretty. Nebula on the outside, then Baritone and Big Cat. Top of the lane, 400 to go, Sylvester the Cat. On the outside, Royal Life, Brooklyn Brawler needs some running room. Down the inside, a Sail South, King Mumbo's Legacy, and also running on Celtic Captain. Nebula's on the outside. Sail South comes into the lead at the 200, though. And it's Sail South who's gone clear of the opposition. And Sail South's going to win the 12th and last. Sail South has won it. Second place will go to Royal Life and Baritone runs on to be... Well, a one-horse race, that's the only way you can explain it. Sail South, who was so impressive last time out, followed up with Sean Veal and Brett Crawford to close off the second jackpot and close off the 2016 Vodacom Durban July race meeting. I think we have to say hats off to the operator Gold Circle and, of course, the sponsor Vodacom for another outstanding race meeting. I worked alongside Sheldon Peters, Paul Lafferty, Andrew Bon, Dave Mollett, and of course, uh, in the OB van today, alongside our own Denver Grantham. Uh, he was assisted by Scotty Sanet, was there for some part of the day. We had Dieter Volberg and Wesley Lloyd as well to their entire crew. Well done. And a race meeting never passes by without mentioning the best cameraman on course. And he is none other than. Zane from ourselves, Dees Danan. Until the 2017 running of the Vodacom Durban July, you take care. Salani Gashley.